Good morning and welcome in. I am the Canadian trucker Rudy and I am here with Diego. I'm Trucker's Rudy's son. Well, thank you guys for joining my channel and stay tuned for the rest of my day. Good morning, good morning everyone. We are leaving the Flying J right now, or at least attempting to leave it right now. Yeah. We had ourselves a very good night's sleep. I don't know what this truck is. I guess he forgot to do his inspection before he left the truck stop. <laughs> he just ran to the back and checked the signal lights to make sure they're working. <laughs> supposed to do that before you get out of the truck stop. Oh well. I guess that's how some people are, you know. They don't do a proper pre-trip inspection. Anyways, we got about three hours to go to Toronto. We got uh, 293 kilometers to go. In Toronto. Yeah, I uh, purposely are leaving a little bit later than I could probably have left. Could have probably left a couple hours ago. But I decided to leave a little later because, uh, you know, rush hour traffic in Toronto is horrible. You know? 400 meters. Take the entrance to the right on Highway 401 East on Figure 401 this way. East London. I mean, yeah, it's a long way up there yet, but uh, figure this way. Uh, I get there around lunchtime. That's fine with me, you know. And Take I the entrance to the right on Highway 401 East on E 401 East London. And I can go to Master Steak and have me a nice steak. By that time I'll be nice and hungry. I didn't eat anything here this morning, so I'll drive my three hours over there and probably go fill up the truck and have a bite to eat, take a shower, and we'll see what we got from there. I haven't made myself available yet. I probably should have done that already, but Oh, well, we'll do that sometime later. They know that I'm coming that direction anyways. So. But a gorgeous day out here today again. Nice and sunny. I don't see those windmills turning very fast, so there must not be a very strong wind yet. So we should be doing pretty good on fuel mileage. Got a okay load. Not super heavy. Let's get on the big highway here and uh, get some miles in. Continue on the road for two hours. Yeah, but that wasn't a solid on uh, Philip Don uh, driver there, so I was almost thinking of Big Rig Talk. Maybe he was there because he drives this stretch quite often, right? So, and uh, I know uh, Molly and me have subscribed to me. So thank you very much for subscribing to me. If you guys don't know who that is, look him up on YouTube. He's also a YouTube trucker. Or a trucker making YouTube videos, I guess. You could say it that way too. And he has got two channels. He goes by uh, Molly and me, and he also goes by Big Rig Talk. He's got two channels. And then also uh, Hail Rider TV has also recently subscribed to me. Thank you guys for subscribing to me. I am subscribed to them as well. Yeah. 
anyways, let's have ourselves a great day. Thank you guys for joining me, riding along with me, and we will be in Toronto later on. Alrighty, the scale is open. Gonna see what they want today. It's a small lucky day today. Again, pull into one of these scales. Let's see what they got. Yeah. They got one of these. This is a brand new scale that they got up here. Continue on this road. So we'll see what they're up to. Kilometers. Play station ahead. Yeah. I bet you they're trying to make some money. he would be pulling into there. Anyways, let's talk to this guy. Alright, he gave us the finger that we can go. Yeah. That's good. The way we like it. Looks like they're cleaning house up here. Yeah, but as I was saying, they're, uh, this is a brand new scale. It's been here before. The scale has been here for a while, but they redid this scale. They uh, rebuilt the whole scale. And uh, it used to be just an old building a small scale and all they made it into a really super big scale yeah that's right super big scale right now well, i guess they're trying to make sure they can get their money for it out of that scale no they're they're always open Anyways, we just got ourselves a reload offer. They want me to go pick up a load this afternoon and then uh, go over to Minneapolis or Minnesota anyways. I, I don't know if Minneapolis, but Minnesota. I'm not sure if I'm going to accept that load yet or not. We'll see. But it's got lots of time on it. Only needs to be in uh, Minnesota on the 17th at 8 in the morning. So that's like two and a half days to get there, which only takes me a day and a half to get to Minnesota. So I don't know. I might call him up and see what's going on, see what he's got tomorrow. If he's got something better going on tomorrow where I get more miles, I might just wait till tomorrow. Let's get down the road. It's been a beautiful sunny morning this morning. So let's get into Toronto and see what we decide on. We have just dropped our empty trailer here at the terminal in Mississauga, Ontario. And we got ourselves a reload. Turn right on. Connecting road. Yeah. They want me to go to Alberta. But this time I am able to go take a reset at home and then continue on to go to Alberta and deliver there for Monday morning. Yeah. So that's what we are going to do. But first I'm going to go down to Volvo up here. And I'm going to see if they have that little part that I was having problems with there the other day with that uh, air hose on that compressor. So I'm going to see if they have that part in stock over here. And I'll pick that part up and I'll probably put it in there myself. If they have the part. And then we'll be on our merry way. We'll have a new part in there again. Anyways, let's get over there and then uh, we'll see you a little bit later. Alrighty guys, we picked up our reload. Yeah, I'm excited. Yep, picked up the reload and now we're making our way down to uh, uh, 
little bit north of Red Deer, Red Deer Alberta. Yeah, if I can pronounce it right. So we have a delivery schedule for Monday morning. To the left on Highway 9 a.m. That's the time that we uh, are to be delivering up there. able to do is uh, I'll be able to uh, go home take a reset at home just barely but I'll be able to take a reset at home and uh, then I'll continue on to uh, just north of Red Deer and I will deliver their Monday at 9 a.m. I think that's 10 o'clock central time, so uh, lots of time to get there. Uh, yep. So, we just have to do that and then uh, we will have ourselves some good miles again. Keep to the left on Highway 401. Yeah. Yeah, just, uh, just on time, I think, before the rush hour starts up here in Toronto. I think another hour or so it'll be heavier traffic than there is right now. We might even hit a little bit of rush hour traffic yet, but we're not out of the woods yet. Four kilometers. Keep to the left on Highway 401 East or EP 401 East. Alright RJ, we will do that. We will continue on 401 until 400. And that takes us north. And that turns into 69. Which will turn into, uh, yeah, I guess eventually uh, Highway 17. Now we'll take that over to Manitoba. Yep. Yeah. Well, actually, I was just thinking about something. You know what? I might actually message uh, 42 North Side there in Sudbury. See if he wants to meet me tonight in Sudbury. Last time it didn't work out for him. He, uh, his wife had a doctor's appointment, so just did not work out. So we'll have to see if it will work out this time. Yeah, there we go. Now we got brake lights. Usually, uh, right in this area, that's where a couple of highways come together, and that's where we get usually a bit of a pile up. Yeah, it shouldn't be too bad right now. It doesn't look too bad, anyways. Yeah, well, that's Toronto, you know, we always have traffic up here, but... In any case, we'll continue on, and then uh, we shall see you down the road. Alrighty, guys, we are here near on Centre, Ontario, guys, and we are meeting up with uh, some very special people up here today. They are subscribers of mine, at least one of them is. The other one says he's going to subscribe very soon. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so let's have a look at him. We got Brad over here. Hello. Hey, and you? Charlie. Charlie? Yeah. All right, well, nice you to do. meet you guys. Nice to meet you. Yes, so we, uh, we're we going to probably go inside the restaurant. I'm probably going to have a bite to eat, and uh, at least I am. I haven't had anything to eat, so if you guys want to join me. I'll join you. Yeah, so uh, I know uh, Trucker Jukebox said you're following him too, right? Yeah. Yeah. I uh, I was, and then I didn't, and then I and now I'm back to him again. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. All right. But uh, yeah, he's a pretty good guy. I like him. Another yeah. guy. Another guy. While I'm on here, if you don't mind me mentioning his no. name, is uh, Dump Truck Bob. Okay. I follow him, eh? And I talk a lot with him, and it's almost like you. I get. You know, don't know, never met you. Yeah. But kind of like know you. <laughs> and uh, it's the same with him, eh? And uh, so I just thought, well, I'd say hello to him, you know, while yeah. I'm on here. <laughs> yeah. But, uh, well, that's certainly nice to uh, to meet up with you guys up here, you know. It's, yeah. <laughs> it's, uh, I always enjoy when I can uh, meet up with, uh, with subscribers, you know. That's, yeah, uh, well, you're getting up there. Yes. It takes time, but 
yeah. word of mouth. You know, I didn't know about you. I don't know when I subscribed to you, but I heard about you from from other truckers. You know, I said, oh, oh really? Oh, okay. Check this guy out. You know, and in Canadian, and that's what I like is is like you know I can't travel where you guys travel. But, yeah. But I can on the hood of this truck or the cab yeah. of this truck, eh? Yeah. So I can see the country, and this is what uh, what I really enjoy about this. Yeah. To be able to see places that I'll never. Have you, get to see, you know? have you ever driven truck? No, never. No? No. Oh, okay. No. But so you I just enjoy... I just enjoy the scenery and, uh, you know, I, I've had the chance to go to BC. Okay. A young lad, uh, his father uh, had a trucking business and his son was, and then ended up taking the business over. Okay. And uh, invited me along to go to BC, but uh, I don't know. <laughs> it's a long way, eh? It's a long ways, you know, if somebody <laughs> would invite me to go for half a day riding back, you know, probably. Yeah. But, but. Well, I'm actually on my way to uh, uh, just north of Red Deer, which is between uh, Calgary and, uh, and Edmonton. Mm. Yeah, so I'm going to uh, stop at home uh, for a reset, and then uh, right. then I'm continuing on to Alberta again. But yeah, reset, 34 hours, eh? 36 is 36. in Canada, yeah. Okay. 34 is for the United States, okay. but we just take the extra two, and then <laughs> we're good to go. Yeah. But hey, Brad, you want to say anything? A little bit shy, camera shy no. yet? No. No, I'm not. No. Yeah, okay. your dad. My dad. Yeah, true. Your dad um, might see that. Hey, Dad, how's it going? Um. Mom. My mom. Your mom any shoutouts that you guys want to do for anybody? Oh yeah, our, our my grandma and his who's his wife, Mary Cook. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's about all. It's yeah? Yeah, we'll, we'll go and have a coffee with you or something. All right. Oh. All right, we'll go inside and then we'll grab ourselves a coffee and I'll have something to eat.